All right, you guys, I wanted, yesterday I sent and posted a bunch about um, weeds and spring and so on, so I wanted to do a little rundown of how you put a mix together. Not gonna do a full mix today, but just to show you. All right, so here I have my momentum, or as I said earlier, 2,4-D amine, whatever else it's called. So this gallon container here, this is massive. So I will show you how much I actually use. I've got a two gallon um, hand sprayer. I got this one from Home Depot. It's got pretty good nozzle. And it's funny, you, you can pick a whole, bit, a whole bunch of different modes. It's got a little screen that goes across here. Um, pretty simple and easy. It was not very expensive. But I'll say, you know, when you have it where your mixture comes out like a fine mist, then that is like perfect. So here is how much I actually use. So on this cup, I've marked, I put it on the scale to weigh it. It's one fluid ounce. I use one fluid ounce. Sometimes I go up to as high as one and a half fluid ounces. And I use that for the two gallons of water. That's it. So one fluid ounce. I can't even see how many fluid ounces this whole gallon is. You can do the conversions or what have you if you want. So, you know, when I bought it, the guy told me, hey, man, your, your lawn, you're not, I don't go through and spray the whole lawn, like mass coverage up and down. I'll find a weed, spray it. Find a weed, spray it. But I walk up and down the middle of the stripes, which makes it pretty easy. So that way I have even coverage as I go up and down. Um, but that definitely makes it super, super easy. And so he said, you know, this gallon, this gallon should last me about three, two to three years. So, hey, I don't mind. And I played, it was over $100 for it, but it's going to last me for a good while. So I got nothing to worry about there. The surfactants I use, I ordered both of these last year. You got the basic surfactant, as it's called on there. And then I have another one, um, this methylated seed oil. I saw somewhere that that works really, really good as well, too. So I think at the time I had purchased this, it took forever to come in. Um, they messed up my shipping address or so on. So I'd ordered this, it came in sooner. And then like two days later, this one finally arrived and they said, they told me to just keep it. So that's what I ended up doing. But simple enough, what I do, what I found to be the easiest, get your hand can, put water in it, put the hose down to the bottom. Um, I'm sorry. What I would do is I'd put my mixture in. I'd put my one ounce bam put it in there let's see if this label says on there so pretty much it was so it tells me right there so for my 24d i mean i would do one to two teaspoonfuls per gallon teaspoonful so you don't need a ton of it per gallon so i put that in there with it and this one this one doesn't have it doesn't say but i would pretty much follow the same same breakdown as I had from on there. Um, put that into the hand can. Then I put the hose in there. I put the hose way down into the water. So that way it mixes nice and smooth. Doesn't create a whole bunch of bubbles. Otherwise it's so much harder to uh, get the right amount of water in there. Close it up. Shake it up really, really good. And then just walk the yard. Walk up and down as you're going through. So for me, I would just walk down the bright ones. And then back up and so that way if i find some i just spray find it spray just kept it that easy all right but that's that's really how simple it needs to be when it comes to uh spraying for your weeds so i will say with this stuff it doesn't kill as fast as roundup it's not gonna be like a day or a two day kind of thing it you'll probably notice it over the course of a few weeks maybe each week you'll gradually see those leaves getting brown and curling up and dying away and so it's a more gradual process. Your, lawn, your whole lawn won't be brown because you had a bunch of weeds and then you sprayed them. And then, you know, it's just, I got a whole bunch of brown, uh, brown patches in my lawn now all of a sudden. So it's definitely a little slower of a process. So aesthetically a little bit more pleasing as well too. So, all right. Now what's funny, I'm gonna give my man a shout out. I got a neighbor in the crew over here. Not this lawn, not that one, but the one up there. 
I can see he's getting his first cut of the year. So shout out to my man, Chris Hall. His lawn is gonna be nice and right this year. So stay tuned for some pictures from his. All right, you guys. So that's it. That's your uh, video of the day, maybe for the week, depends on when I put it out. All right, oh, other thing. So today is uh, Wednesday. And my watch died on me. Wednesday, um, so I'm gonna put it out today. This Friday, Saturday, I say I probably say Saturday, will be April 1st. That is the first day I put my Malorganite down on April Fool's Day. So if you haven't gotten it, if you haven't done so, measure your yard, make sure you have enough. That's gonna be when you put down your first hit of Malorganite. I've got my two bags sitting right over here. And so, mine covers up 6,500 square feet. I know my yard's around 12,000 to 13,000 square feet. And so, just that simple. It's got the directions on the back. As far as where to adjust your spreader, depending upon what kind of spreader you have. So I've got Earthway. It's not an Earthway even spreader, what have you. But I know. Go ahead and set it on number six. Bam, and I'm good to go. My spreader, old big boy, is right over here. So my settings, I just adjust that handle, and it's ready to go. All right, no more run-ons. That's all I'm gonna talk about. That's it. Let's uh, put your work in the lawn, and then we can sit back and enjoy it. All right, take it easy.